Welcome to the chat window and die roller tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to cover how you communicate um, using the chat window, some of the basic commands that chat window has, and then how to use the die roller and map tool. So starting off here in the chat window, if you want to type something to someone, you just type right in the bottom here. I attack the darkness. And it just pops up because the username of who sent it, and I attack the darkness. Um, if you want to impersonate a token, you can also do that. So let's bring that out. So if you have a token here, you can right click on it, go down to impersonate. Now you see how this pops up. So I Now whenever someone attacks, you know, and this is good for a uh, GM to talk as the NPCs and also the players might want to do something like this too. So this pops up and gives the image of who's talking and the name and whatever you said. Now if you want to switch back to the other way we're doing it, you just go down here and click the red X and it goes back to normal. Now there are some commands that are available and to get a list of those, they all start with a slash. So you do slash and then help. And now you get a chart here of a bunch of different possible commands like you know whisper and emoting and things like that and what these are is this is the actual command itself this is a shortcut that's the alias and then a description of what it does so for example if you want to clear the chat window you could do slash and actually type out the whole word clear or you could use one of the aliases over here so if you just do clr and hit enter it clears out the screen for you. So you can just go through and read the, all the different commands that are available and play around with them if you want, but remember it's just slash help to get the list. So now moving on just to the very basics of the die roller. I'm just here again in the chat window, we're going to use the square brackets. So you do square bracket, you do how many dice you're going to roll, so in this case I'm going to do one die, and a D for dice, and then I'll do a 20 sided. And you just close it off with another square bracket, hit enter, and it rolls it for you. And you can throw in math there if you want to as well. So 1d20 you know, plus 6. And then close that off. Now that pops up and you see how the total is highlighted there. You can point at it and it pops up and shows you what you rolled and you know what you typed in for the bonus. And you can use you know any combination you'd like. So you could do a you know, 2d18 for two 18-sided dice if you'd like. And it gives you the total there. Now there are some other functions you can use, and just to show you where the list of those are, if you go to the rptools.net homepage here, go to Tools, and then uh, we're going down to Map Tool, that's what we're using, we're going to version 1.3, and Documentation. Now if you scroll down a little bit here, you see all this stuff here. And uh, I know you can look at this and see what are all these weird letters and things like that, but this is just, you know, XDY is, you know, like 2D6 or 1D20, that's what that is supposed to be. And the rest of these are other little things you can add on for to do stuff like, see this one drops a certain number of lowest dice or keeps a certain number of highest dice or counts how many successes there were. So for example, if um, we'll do successes as an example. See how they use the S there. Um, you'd use the square bracket, do 5D10, that's your only one, 5, 10 sided dice, S, and it'll count successes that are 6 or above. So you do that, return, and it gives you three. And it shows you what you did there. It doesn't give you know each individual die. It just counts the number of successes you actually have. So then you can go back and look at that list. You can see there's a number of different things you can do, different options. And um, they cover most of what's needed for the different gaming systems that are out there. Now you might be wondering, do I have to type in these equations you know, every time? No, you don't. There's something called a macro, which is basically uh, just a shortcut. You can create a little shortcut button. And I'll get into the, how those work in the next tutorial. Because you can do a number of different things with those, so it's just not enough room to put them in this one. But So that is the basics to get you started and get you rolling your dice. And I'll show you how to do shortcuts and some other things in the next tutorial. So that is the basics of how to talk and map tool and how to get started rolling dice. Like I said, for both things. There's a lot more you can do when you get into the macros and some of the coding aspects, but I'll introduce that in future tutorials. What I showed you here should get you started and so you can play your first game if you wanted to.